So mine tests come with, with a very plain interface that has no uh, installed modifications or mods. Mods are um, packages that expand mine test functionality and visuals so you can you know, create a more uh, interactive and more engaging game. So for example, if you go to the mindtest.net-customize, you will see a series of uh, mods uh, that are most popular that you can download directly from, from here. So when, the one I'm gonna show you, and in the process I will show you how to install and get a mod, is called Unified Inventory. And this mod expands the functionality of Mindtest Inventory. Uh, so by default, and I'm gonna run Mindtest very quickly, uh, it has a very plain inventory system. You see, I'm gonna show it to you. So when you press the I, uh, this is how the default inventory system looks like in my test. Now, it, I want to expand this uh, functionalities uh, using the Unify Inventory mod. So for that, I'm just gonna go and going back to this website, I'm gonna click on Unify Inventory. This takes me to a discussion board post uh, don't click on the download link because that is a link that has been there since 2012. You want to go to where it says browse code, uh, where is the depository for or repository for uh, the files of the mode that actually, as you can see here, has been uh, updated a year ago. So it's much more recent than that other link. Click on the download click, uh, link and then click download zip. This will download the zip file to your computer. The next step is to uh, go back to the mind test folder and click on the mods subfolder. That's where all the mods are going to be installed. So drag and drop that in there. So once that is completed, that's the first step. The second step to enable the mod is to run mind test again. So I'm going to go to the Bing directory mind test and then click on the word you want to enable the mod. Click on configure and see that now the Unify Inventory mode is listed. So make sure to double click it and that that enable checkbox is checked. And that's it. If the mode ha needs other modes to work, you will see them listed here in dependencies and you may have to download those in order for it to work. Uh, sometimes there, there are modes that do need other modes. So what uh, the their creators do is that they pack them all together into one folder. So it depends on the mod. I'm going to click on save and now I'm going to run my test again. So when I press the I, you'll see that now the inventory system has changed and is expand. Instead of having only three rows of items, I have a much a larger list so it's easier to scroll. I also have things like I can uh, here on, on this bottom left corner, I have buttons where I can make the day, uh, the time of the day change. I can make it night or day. Uh, and this is very useful because instead of having to you know type the the time command and also you can change your your home location uh, so when you teleport you can just teleport by clicking here so let's say you are lost in the in in, in your world and you want to go back to the home location uh, you can just click here and go back after of course you set it with set home position um, and also the last thing I want to show you is that you, if you click on bags you can create uh, four different sets of bags that are really like folders for your uh, most used inventory items and by having those bags you can quickly click on them and they will load uh, into the inventory and then you can switch between them to facilitate the usage of info inventory items. So I strongly recommend this mod and uh, if this is the way how you install uh, all modes in Mindtest and they really uh, expand its functionality.